How's it going? Pretty good. Mind if I let the my puppy out to yep, use the fine. bathroom? I'm Justin. I'm Shane. Well, that's Callie. I got a, my other oh puppy. Oh my gosh, I see you. I watch YouTube videos. Oh really? Yep. Yeah. Yep, I'm sure I've watched your videos on YouTube. Yeah. Did you not know it was me coming? I did. <laughs> um. So let me get a quick rundown on your hunt real quick. Yep. Oh, you got turkeys. Yep, we got one turkey. We got a couple horses. Nice. Goats. You shoot the deer on your property? Yep. Um, that broadhead was all the way open. I shot it. Yeah. Um. So you shot it at what time? Six fifteen. Six fifteen. Um broadside slightly quarter and two yep and he and ha, you were elevated yep i was roughly 20 feet we'll say and he was how far out um from the base of your tree probably my mom okay about five yeah. seven yards it might have been a little further than that we'll but, say 10 yards yep. so a pretty and steep then, angle yep and when i shot i mean it was the loudest crack i've heard and hidden, a hidden, double ear infection i could still hear hidden bone and uh, the deer like rodeo bucked really hard, turned, went maybe 10 yards and just stood there and it felt like an eternity. Now did the arrow go clean through him? Clean through him. Oh, it was stuck yeah, in the ground? It was stuck in the ground. Okay, good. And um, his tail was tucked the whole time and he was just sitting there and I'm like, oh, I've seen this time and time again. He's just gonna make a couple steps and get wobbly mm -hmm. and tip over. And he actually just walked another 10 yards into some thicker stuff I couldn't see. I sat down for 20 minutes and I thought I saw white go like this and just fall on the ground. Yeah. I'm like, he's probably dead. So I made a phone call to my dad and uh, the minute he said hello, I got my phone really loud so I could hear right now. And the minute he said hello, I watched the deer, I won't say walk, but it was a little faster than walk, but it was definitely not even a sprint. I just just kind of got out of there quickly just got out of there and uh it was probably another 15 minutes and then him and my mom showed up we tracked it 60 70 yards tops i i, I believe i'm not very good with yeah. that whole thing and it was good blood the whole way we got out there this morning and it was like what color was the blood it was just bright red bright red and, and you, you i said thought on, i saw bubbles in it last night but bubbles can also be created by the blood hitting the ground okay sometimes that'll create little bubbles in it so uh -huh. bubbles not always a great indicator okay from a tracking standpoint green's a good thing oh it is okay. yeah they we have a very high recovery rate on because it's 100 percent fatal okay it's there it's gonna die if you give it time and don't push it i mean it's gonna die either way it's yeah. just how far away is it gonna die if where you saw it lay down last night we didn't even see we didn't even see it back I mean, when you saw the belly last night if yeah. if you were able to get out of there without it hearing you and it would it would have been laying there dead this morning probably unless oh. a, something else that's the thing about a gut shot they um or a liver shot they fairly quickly they start feeling sick and they'll hunch up and okay. they and they just go lay down somewhere that was one thing when i saw it get out of there it kind of i don't know if this is the right terminology it looked like it was getting out of there in a hurry but walking on eggshells like i could tell that's, that's hunt. it was yeah, it like, was hurt yeah the uh, deer was hurt have you had any rain this morning at all i mean we've had a couple drops yeah okay yeah, rain good. rain's a good thing for a dog or moisture it Keeps really it, it really is imagine your dog you're and you spray him with a hose or something how much you smell him then afterwards oh, it's same thing with wet in the ground that that you, the for a dog's was still super wet when we got out there i thought it would have been somewhat dry well the the blood is not uh necessarily what we're tracking the, the, the individual glands so if we can get her locked on she figures out okay this is the deer that's injured this one will follow even when the blood runs out she'll keep following it and um you know we're getting a kind of an older track 18 hours yeah 20 19 or something like that um still should be okay if we get a little bit of moisture that'll really help okay but she's tracking good this year so far we'll see how she does he would have been okay so you shot him on the left side yes sir. so he's basically standing on that trail slightly quarter into yep. so i shot him he rode your butt and then he went over this dirt tree that's down and going up and around yeah he went that direction and there's quite a bit of blood over there and he stood in that thick stuff and i can't see him and then there's a little opening just on the other side of that going down yeah 
ravine and you'll see where he went down and up and we have last blood marks with a little half moon okay post i'm gonna start her here and see if she continues and just follow me to last blood yes, find it girl find it that way i can kind of confirm that she's on the deer if she takes us to last blood You said this is where it went through? Just let her check it. She's still on it. Yeah, so if we get separated a little bit, don't be afraid to use this walkie-talkie. It's hard for me. It's hard for me to hear behind me. So we're still on it, huh? Yep. Where's last blood? Oh, uh, yep, last blood should be right in right about where she's at right now. Alright, just hang back here. I'll let her see where she takes me. We had some grid searching going on here, so hopefully she can work that out. Pretty thick woods back in here. It'd be pretty easy for a deer to get hidden. Find it, girl. Find it.
Let's start tracking a little slower and more methodical. Just letting her work it out, see if she takes me back up there again. Did it come up through here, or did it go up over there? What's that? I think she's done her Yeah. Sometimes she'll get off of, but she she can either smell it from five feet away, or so you're standing that last flood. Yeah, we came right through here earlier. I'm gonna just let her keep on going then. And that what? Turn. Turn okay. okay, so it could have turned this way. Just, just, just hold what you got and let her work out again. Blood there from there. There's a, a bed. I'll drop a pin here. Mark that just in case. Pretty. Alrighty, we got him. We got him. Man, would I lie to you? Just follow the barking. Nice eight pointer. Good job, girl. Thank you, girl. Congratulations, man. Thank you so much, sir. You just made my whole year. You made my whole year. You should honestly cry right now. <laughs> I've had hunters cry before. Oh.